Hey guys, what is up? It's the whistle here back again with a new video And I know I sound a little bit more energetic in this video than I did in the last one But I'm excited to bring you guys this awesome fucking gameplay It is a 30 to 5 free-for-all game on the map breach I'm using the VMP with extended mags quick draw and grip this gun has turned out to be one of my favorite SMGs in the entire Call of Duty series I love the high fire rate I love that it can wreck it close to in medium range it can still do some work as long as you have good aim and that's also what this video is about is how to improve your aim and better your overall game in Black Ops 3 multiplayer step one aim often and almost aim always you're gonna need to be aiming down the site almost on around every single corner in this game the enemies could be anywhere especially in free for all because you don't have teammates that's why i love playing free for all it really trains you to be ready for any situation around any corner because that's really what's going to happen in these fast-paced first-person shooter games and as you see in this gameplay i am aiming very often because one i'm running around with a submachine gun so if you're going to be close in the enemy spawn if you're playing other things like what team deathmatch domination you're going to need to be aiming a lot but if you want to improve your aim and improve this step especially and really work at it, then play Free For All. It's really going to help your aim. It's very fast paced. It's very fun. It's great for XP. If you get top three, you'll get around 15,000 to 20,000 XP a game. So that's why I've been ranking up pretty fast. I know I'm only prestige one, but it's because I just like to dick around in other game modes and have fun with my friends sometimes. I'm not like a hardcore player, but I did drop this gameplay last night and I was really happy. So yeah, first tip. Aim often, aim always. Step two, play within your comfort zone. Now, I know this one might sound a little bit weirder. Uh, I know the tips that I'm telling you are to change your game and really go out of your comfort zone to try and improve it. But what I mean by this is play game modes that you're used to, use guns that you're used to and that you're good with. Just so once you get this aiming down, once you get this aiming thing down, you can apply it to every other weapon in the game, especially snipers. It actually does pretty help with snipers, especially the aiming tip. Even if it's a scope, you're going to want to aim around every corner and down every line of sight. But don't stay there too long because you're probably going to get wrecked. Anyway, back to the game. So you want to want to play within the game modes that you're comfortable as well. I'm pretty comfortable with free for all, as you see, <laughs> as I do amazing in this gameplay. Um, I'm pretty comfortable with free for all, team deathmatch. And that's about it. <laughs> I don't really play anything else besides Free For All and Team Deathmatch. Um, just because I like the kill based objectives. I do not like the like, domination and kill confirmed. Just because people really don't play the objective enough and it just really annoys people who just go for kills anyway. So why not? Because And also, kill confirmed, each kill is only like 50 points. Instead, you can play Free For All and get 100 points for each kill. And sometimes their tags can get denied, which means it's not always going to be 100 XP. And that's why I like playing Team Deathmatch and Free For All. That's my comfort zone, and I got good within that comfort zone, and that's how I'm able to bring you guys gameplays like this. It makes me look like a better player as well, and it improves my KD a lot when you stay within your comfort zone and use guns that you like and that you're used to. Tip 3. Find a sensitivity that is right for you. Everyone plays with a different sensitivity in this game. I know a lot of people play on a higher sensitivity thinking, oh, the higher, the more, um, faster I can look around, the better I can turn on people. No, that's not what you want to do. Trust me. Higher sensitivities, some people might actually be comfortable with, comfortable with that. If you don't want to change, then that's fine. Do what you want to do. But honestly, I play on an eight sensitivity, just because that's what's comfortable for me. And I will explain why I play on a lower sensitivity in the next tip. So yeah, you want to find a sensitivity that's right for you. And basically, what you're going to want to do this is. Hop in a random TDM game, maybe against some bots even, even and just gradually up your sensitivity if you're on a lower sensitivity, or gradually lower it if you're on a higher sensitivity. And then just see which one, and just let yourself get used to which each sensitivity, and find which one that you tend to have better aim with. What happened with me is I started playing Black Ops 3 on a 10 sensitivity, and I noticed that I wasn't doing like as well as I wanted to, in that I was losing gun battles that I should have won. And I started to think back to the older Call of Duties where I used to play on a lower sensitivity. I used to play below the average sensitivity. Back when the sensitivity range was still 1 to 10, 10 was the max, 1 being the lowest, I used to play on a 5. The average was around 7 to 8. So I decided to lower my sensitivity from 10 down to 9, and I found that I was winning a little bit more of my gun battles, still wasn't like fully comfortable with it, still didn't feel like... Uh, my mojo didn't come back from the older Call of Duties because back in Modern Warfare 3 I used to destroy people So I brought it back down to an 8 
and I found it. I got every uh, all my mojo back. I started wrecking people, started winning all my gun battles because I found the one that I was used to playing for the older Call of Duties. So find the sensitivity that's right for you. If you don't want to change, that's fine. I'm just here trying to help you improve your aim. Step four. This is probably the most important step that is the one that helped me the most. This is probably the biggest improvement that I've ever made to my gaming experience. It helped the most. These little things called control freaks. There are $5 joystick extensions, as you see in the video here, that increase the height of your joystick, which enables you to look around farther on a lower sensitivity, and they're grippy, so it helps you improve your aim. They really do. If you notice in this video, I have really good aim. I'm dropping people really fast, and it's all because of the control freaks. And guess what? They only take about two or three games to get used to, and once you do, you'll wreck people for the rest of eternity, or just for the rest of the time you play Call of Duty, which probably be only a few more years, given we're gonna have to go off and actually get jobs and shit. But yeah, <laughs> back to Call of Duty. Control Freaks help a lot. I got mine at Best Buy. I have currently using the Phantoms, the white ones. Now, I only have one Control Freak on right now. You can have two. I have the one that is on my, um, on the right joystick, which is where, you know, this default stick layout where you look around and you, uh, aim with, basically. That's, that's the only one I use it for because I didn't really like the extension on the left one because that's just running around and sliding. You don't really need it. It does help a lot on the right stick, though, and that's why I keep it there. And boom, about to drop the final kill. Hope you guys enjoyed this amazing gameplay. I think I went on like 24, 23 kill streak, which is actually one of my highest in this game. I'm still going for nuclear, haven't got that yet. So hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace out, everybody.